Hi, fashion lovers. Hi, my lovely viewers. The video you're about to watch is how I put crinoline on this lovely gown, this amazing gown. I just cut it like an A-shaped gown, then I put a tail at the back. You understand? It's not that I joined tail, though, but there's a way I normally go about this type of style. Just put it like a tail, like putting S's at the back, like cutting it as four pieces. Please, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please help your girlfriend. See, I just put the crinoline. line. I only did a video on how to put the crinoline, line, not the style actually, just the crinoline line only. So please subscribe. Thank you. This is what they call crinoline. line. It's a light one. Actually, I sell the pack of this 1,002. Yeah, I sell it one two, I sell it one thousand. But now people are now using Prino line very well, so you can even sell it one five. Before I stop, I had eighteen naira, but now I sell it hundred naira. So just watch the fullest and understand the way I want to put it. I cut this down part as an A line gown, and I put tail. It's not that I attach tail at the back, hole, but actually I will show you how the gown looks like. When I finish doing the video, so just put your this the green line, put it at the front side of your material, then you start sewing. But if you before you start, just leave at least like one inch without sewing, just put it like this, then you start sewing and don't let your inches to be more, just use like quarter inch or half inch is okay to start your sewing, then you start moving your machine. Oh, and you be careful. Linear. So just be careful about doing uh moving your don't draw it don't draw it and make sure because when the machine is matching it so to be going inside so you have to be careful you can see the way it is actually i did not see the blending color but this is ash color it's also okay with it so just let's move and the material is also drawing So you continue moving it and make sure the needle you are using it doesn't have any kind of break at the mouth because if it has such thing it will be drawing the um crino line because like now i notice my needle has broken and you can see the way the crino line is squeezing at the upper part and it will make the work neater so i have to change my needle so you make sure everything is in order then you continue moving it till you reach the hand part so this is the ending part of it so if you're almost there just you understand just measure here just check here so that you just sew it then you cut leave like half inch allowance so that you can be able to to join this together and let me show you you raise your the foot of your machine you take this two like this you can see the way it is then you join it And you join it but if you don't have, like now me i have the pack of this crino line i'm selling it so if you don't is if you don't have the pack just measure your the down parts of your clothes then you buy the uh, measurements you can just add half inch uh, half yard or one yard to it because you know whenever you are doing something like this it can be drawing so you just do that so that it should be on the safer side so now and you join like this you can see you can open or you cover you just break it down like this let it slip down like this then you stitch then after that you turn to the front so this is the back what i'm going to do now is to move this this way you understand good morning ma mm -hmm. I, when... so you can see the way I did it now. Then you're going to take your machine. You can simply put hemming gum down here to hold the um, crino line down. But if you don't have time, you can just move it this way. It's not necessary you wait for the hemming gum. You can do it without that. Assuming it's a peplum, now you can just put hemming gum to hold this. You can see. And you continue moving it. You can see where I was telling you when my needle broke that I adjusted. I can see the way it's squeezing, it's not neat there. So you continue moving it. You can see the way it's 
continue moving see the way it looks like at the back you can see so let me continue moving it so make sure you are pushing the normal joining you can see this is where the joining stop just so that it won't reduce the length of your clothes so you just continue moving it move it continue moving it so as you can see i'm true this is how it looks like but i'll put it on my dummy now to see the finishing product <laughs>